So would you mind sharing some of the rehab journey and how long it's taken you to get to 93% roughly? Because that's amazing to get to that point. Yeah. Um, so I spent uh, probably um, a week and a half in Sunshine Coast Hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, then I got, was transferred to Selangor at Benambal. Um where I'd spent two weeks uh, in Selangor. They were, as a public patient, they were taking um, public patients um, because of the pressure on the, the public system. Excuse me. Um, uh, in that two weeks, I had, um, in hospital, had speech pathology, pathology, uh, occupational therapy, um, you know, things like handwriting and, um, just kept trying to get the strength back in my right side. I uh, had physio. Um, and then after the, the, like a, about a month, um, I was able to come home and had to continue the uh, occupational therapy speech. So I was an outpatient in Calandra Hospital, uh, ironically where it all started. Um, yeah, to uh, just uh, probably three months down there of, um, you know, rehabilitation. Um, yeah, and that's when probably was off work for oh, seven, six or seven months. And then just started on light duties, uh, um, going to work for, you know, one or two days a week for four hours a time. Fatigue's my, my biggest problem. Um, I, I fatigue really quickly, um, probably because I put so much into what I do. Yeah. And... Yeah, um, fatiguing, you know, having having to have sleeps, two or three sleeps during the day, um, going to bed probably 7.30 to 8 o'clock at night. Um, yeah, that's part of my, my rehab. But this show, like, you listened then. Yeah. Through rehab. So congratulations for listening. And not pushing yourself too hard, but pushing you, challenging yourself through rehab mm. and looking after yourself at the same time. Mm. Thanks. Because that's a fine balance, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes I've got to remind myself now, um, it's, um, you know, I'm not out of the woods. I'm, I'm, I often tell myself I'm 53 now, um, act like a 53 year old. So, um, you know, not 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 uh, young and nimble like I once was. Yeah, and so with you know, it's amazing to see how far you have come. You said your your face dropped; it affected your right side. How bad was it? Um, yeah, I, I lost all the strength in my right side, mm-hmm. so. Um, you know, I, I probably was having trouble um, for the first you know, month or two of lifting a two kilogram weight on, in, my, in my right hand. Um, you know, I, I got to a stage where I thought I was a bit smarter. I was trying to out- outdo the rehab and I tend to do a lot of things left-handed. Um, some things I can't do left-handed, so... I was forced to to use my right right hand and right side, um, yeah. So that was uh, that was that was the, the the main thing that yeah, just having to force myself to do the do the stuff with my right right hand, uh, right side of my body, you know, get up, sit down, um, go down on one knee, um, put you know, lift things above your head. Mm-hmm. Um, that was that was something. Yeah, that I really had to focus on to to improve. And we take these things for granted, don't we? Mm. Yeah. It's just everything that we do, we just go about our day. It's all unconscious until something like this happens. And and this it's the simplest things. Mm. As you said, like just putting putting your um arm above your head. Yeah. Getting dressed. Get oh yeah, getting dressed. <laughs> That yes. Was, you know, um, for for the first probably twelve months, 
um, you know, put your arm in a sleeve. It's like it's like you're in slow motion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everything you do, uh, get down. I go to the, down to the uh, soccer or football club. Um, I'm I'm right footed. You know, kick a ball. Um, I, that's that's one thing I noticed. The, the don't have as much power in my legs, in my right leg. Um, so I've become very proficient in kicking the ball left footed. Um, yeah, and uh, if I kick right footed, uh, for the first twelve months it looked like it looked like it was in I was like in slow motion. Um, yeah, just um, getting something out of a cupboard and having to reach up with my right hand um was was a challenge and then trying to hold the maybe a cup or, or a, a plate having to hold that you know just things that you take for granted don't even think about you have to uh, really concentrate to, to to get by yeah 